Hey, what's up, sons? It's Blind Ryan with Sound of Tech once again, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and taxes, which is about as fun as talking about Bitcoin and death if you're trying to recover your significant other's private keys. All right, that got dark. It's that dark. Before we get into it, if you guys would like to chat on a privately hosted chat server, let me know. You can hit that join button down below. I was trying to get some bars there, it didn't work out. Then from there, you're gonna hit the membership tab, click the down arrow, find the section for connecting on social media and select the secret registration URL for Rocket Chat, where we have a growing community of crypto currency enthusiasts as well as miners without the scammers spammers or bots because it's behind yes a paywall you only have to pay once and then that will unlock it for the entire time once you're registered you're registered so you can cancel the membership all right so taxes disclaimers i am not a tax attorney nor a cpa nor do i have any sort of accounting experience whatsoever this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. My goal is to relate to you guys the information that I have obtained through, of course, the people I hire to help me figure it out. It's very basic knowledge. I'm gonna relay it to you and then you can kind of decide on how much of it you wanna to attempt to do yourself depending on how much money you're making within the crypto space. And then if you should go ahead and hire somebody, which I would highly recommend. Do not use this video to file your cryptocurrency taxes, okay? Just don't do that. I will give you a couple tools to look at though that should be able to help you out, at least get you started in the proper direction. So, we're gonna start with mining because this channel is primarily focused on mining and because of that, most of y'all are more than likely mining cryptocurrency in some form or fashion and you need to know how to handle that. Right off the bat, you need to understand Mining is considered an income, which means you are going to not only pay your income tax in general, but you're gonna have that additional 15% self-employed tax if you are not behind an LLC. And yeah, so if you have any significant amount of mining going on or taking place at this point, you should basically get yourself an LLC started. You can use various services that can walk you through it like Rocket Lawyer and I believe there's a there's a plethora of them. Leave them in the comments whichever ones your favorites are and it's going to run you anywhere between 500 and 1000 dollars depending on the services you pay and so on. So, like I said, depending on the amount of income you're making from the mining you probably want to put it behind an LLC of some sort to basically protect whatever you're mining if you're just going to leave it and hold it from having to pay that additional 15% tax. Now, the taxes are calculated on the day you are paid out or at the time you are paid out. So a couple of strategies from my understanding is yes, more frequent payouts are better, but they are also harder to track. It's a give and take. If you wanna put in the time and make sure you're tracking it, hopefully that Ethereum's getting mined while it's low and you're only paying the income tax on that specific time you got paid out. Once again, this is my understanding of it, so you wanna check with your CPA or your tax attorney as well. And then, that's the time you will go ahead and record that amount of income. So for example, if you were mining Ethereum back when it was like 80 bucks and you've held it till now, you don't have to pay the income tax on the value of it right now, but you pay the income tax on the value of it when it was mined, okay? So now with that out of the way, what if you're gonna hold it? Well, that's where you start getting into capital gains tax. And essentially you have two forms of capital gains tax. From my understanding, you have short term and you have long term. And that means basically as ETH goes up in price, for example, if you're mining ETH, you are gonna need to pay a capital gains tax on it, even if you're holding it from when you were mining it. So short term is anything less than a year and it is taxed at a higher rate. Long term is longer than a year and taxed at a lower rate. So your goal should be to essentially hold that Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever that investment is for longer than a year to reduce the amount of taxes you need to pay in capital gains. Whoo! 
Are we getting confused yet? Once again on this, make sure you check with a tax attorney or a CPA or something along those lines because I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just relaying the information. Ugh. So finally, trading, and this is where it gets really tricky, all right? So for trading cryptocurrencies, it is actually required that you do pay the capital gains tax on every trade on a per trade basis, making it very difficult to do any sort of day trading. What this means essentially is that if you had ETH at $900 and then it goes up to 1500 and you sell it and trade it for Bitcoin, you have to calculate the capital gains between the 900 and the 1500. So every time you trade, you have to calculate the increase, of course, of the value of that coin before you trade it. And you have to pay taxes on that for every single coin, every single trade. That is technically the law currently. And once again, you should talk to a tax attorney or someone along those lines to help you figure that out because that can get really tricky for a lot of the day traders out there. So this is everything I've learned as far as taxes and cryptocurrency, specifically everything I've learned mainly as it pertains to mining because that's what I've primarily focused on. I know I had a couple questions as far as holding and what ramifications there are there. I understand that a little bit more because that's kind of what I do is mine maybe swap once and then hold. And then of course, then you have the whole portion of trading, which I haven't really fully gotten into. So from my understanding, I know you guys had a couple questions on that as far as like what is expected in the United States for trading and it's not very fun, right? I, there's no way around it, but to tell you it's not very fun, technically that is what you're supposed to do. Now, some tools to make it easier though, are right here at bitcoin.tax. So on bitcoin.tax, it's essentially a tax preparation service that can track all of your trades for you and automated. And if you are trading, you really wanna do this because it makes life a lot easier. It will also track mining based on the income of the Ethereum wallet, for example. And so if you want to basically have something automated that tracks it you basically connect your eth account that you're mining to and it's going to suck all of those in now one thing that i did learn that i had to make some adjustments on was basically if you're going to use this tool to do that you want to make sure you have a different eth address for like receiving ethereum transactions from people right because you don't want that income tax on something that isn't technically income, right? So you don't, you pretty much want to set up a separate Ethereum wallet just to receive all of the Ethereum that you are mining. You want to set it essentially to a frequent payout or as frequent as possible so you can capture the Ethereum at the lowest price of when you mined it. And that's going to be super helpful. So a couple tips there. Now it connects with Coinbase, Gemini, Binance, Bitstamp, Kraken, BitPhoenix, KuCoin, and Crypto.com. I've used it with Crypto.com, Coinbase, and then it does work with just Ethereum addresses. So you can put in the Ethereum address and it'll calculate, it'll pull in, like I said, for the mining, all of the transactions that are being sent to that wallet, making it really easy to just put it out into a spreadsheet. And then essentially you dump it to TurboTax and you are pretty much good to go. You can have some people review it, obviously highly recommended, but that is what I would recommend as far as how to calculate your taxes and hopefully that is helpful. Now, a couple notes. We talked about what you are obligated to pay. Let's talk about things that you are not obligated to pay taxes on. Operating costs, internet, electricity. You wanna calculate internet and electricity. Now, if you're mining out of your home, you wanna calculate the difference between what your home would normally cost to power and the increase from mining and you want to cut to make it really easy you want to cut two separate checks and send them both to your electric company what that will do is at the end of the year you can easily distinguish between what was used for cryptocurrency mining and what wasn't 
So cut two checks, send both of them, totaling for your whole entire bill, and then you will be able to easily determine what you need to pay you know, in what you can deduct essentially as far as power costs. The square footage of your home where you keep the miners, that is also deductible as far as like, because you're using it for business. So make sure you essentially take into account the rough square footage of whatever that area is. For myself, because I do all the videos in here, um, which is actually under a separate LLC, this room is square footage is also accounted in for that as well. And then finally, you also have all of the hardware that you can write off as well as depreciation, which if you're gonna go into like a depreciation, you definitely wanna get with a tax attorney because you can file depreciation on the hardware that you have bought and you need somebody to help you figure out what the, what the terms of that is gonna be over a period of time so that you can basically get a uh, tax break on the depreciation or decrease, which is the decrease in value of basically the graphics cards is what the big, the big killer there. So that pretty much covers everything that I can think of as far as taxes and Bitcoin and mining and trading. And there is a lot more that goes into it as well. I'm always happy to hear any sort of corrections, comments, additional help in the comment section below. It's really hard to read them. If you have something in particular that you think I need to be aware of right away, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at Son of Attack or in Rocket Chat, which is the fastest way to get a hold of me is Rocket Chat. And that's going to wrap it up. Hope the video was helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.